Hello everybody and welcome back to this short video computer trainings. Um, the next couple of posts will deal with commands that you can use, Unix commands that you can use in terminal uh, in uh, Mac OS X. Um, we're going to present a couple of commands that you can use uh, by uh, popular demand actually. We've been uh, requested to post these. So uh, together with the switches that, that you can use for those commands, right? So the first one we're going to present today is the simplest one which is list, right? Uh, that this command actually lists the contents of your current working directory, right? Um, so you can see your working directory right here. If you want to change it, you can change it, uh, and you can list the contents, right? Uh, first of all, uh, let's talk about talk a little bit about the man the man pages, right? The man pages are the old manual pages from the Linux Unix system that are present online. So you need to be connected to the internet to use them. And it will, they will display help and the way you can use the commands and every single information about the commands you want to find out information about, right? So man ls, for example, it's going to list that command, what it does, every single switch that you can use to it, and so forth and so forth, right? Use q to escape out of that, so quit. And let's see how we can use this command, right? So list, list the, the, the content of the Active Directory. If you use a minus L switch, it's going to list one line per item and with a lot of information associated with it, which is like permissions, um, numerical permissions in, uh, in a numerical form, um, who has access to uh, those files or folders, the size, the time the file or folder has been created, and the name. Right? Um, Another switch that you can use is, uh, is minus one, which is going to print them on your screen one item per line, but no information associated with it, right? Um, the minus E switch, uh, which you got to use in the long format, of course, is going to, this switch will uh, show the access control list associated with an item, if an item has uh, an access control it's associated with it. If you remember from uh, an older post, post we said that uh, if you have a plus switch over here, that means that item has uh, an access control list associated with it that makes the permissions more granular for that specific item, right? So that access list will be displayed here um, if you use the minus E switch, right? So for example, the access list attached to this item says that the everyone group is denied the delete permission for this specific item. So uh, the everyone group cannot delete this item, they can only see it, right? Uh, the next one, so you, you, can, you can use, let's say, minus L, and let's use capital G. Capital G is actually um, more of an aesthetic switch is going to enable colored output so it doesn't actually do anything it doesn't uh, supply any additional information it just lets you uh, lets you use the colored output right uh, you can use the minus h as well let's see a minus cell first and then a minus cell minus h that will take the size of the file and uh, display it in bytes or kilobytes right to actually save some space Right, so if you have like big files, this will help you uh, save some space if you're actually printing this output. Right, um, you can also use minus i for example. This is actually for programmers, not necessarily for a regular user, because it's going to display um, it's going to display the file serial number, the i node number of every single file and folder. Right, so this is this is it right here. Uh, a regular user will never use it, but for programmers, it's actually very very useful. Uh, you can use um, minus M, for example, instead of minus L. It's going to list the files and folders uh, on the page separated by comma. Um, you can use minus N. Minus N. I'm going to use the long format as well. That will take out the usernames and the, um, the group's names and will display them in, in numerical format. Right, if you want to say space, this is actually again very useful for programmers, right? Because programmers usually don't work with uh, usernames in long format. They they work with IDs, username IDs, and group IDs, right? 
and also and also for servers administrators as well. Um, so when you set up permissions on an Apple server, you're going to use the, the the group and this and the and uh, the user IDs, not the actual names, right? Uh, another option you can use is uh, minus O. So let's go minus L, and it's going to be a minus capital O. This will actually display the flags associated with the files or folders, if any, right? So if you remember, we said in an earlier post that if you have this character right here in the in the characteristics of the file, that means there is a flag attached to to that specific file or folder, whether it's uh, uh, it's, for example, a permission issue that you download the file from the internet and Apple will not let you use it, or if it's hidden, like in this case, it's a hidden flag, it's going to be displayed over here. Right? Um, another switch you can use is minus R, capital R. This will list all the subdirectories and, and, and the files inside these folders. Right? So, uh, as you can see, it's going to list everything. Everything. So, if you want to list every single file that you have in those directories and subdirectories, you can use this switch minus R. Uh, minus T, minus capital T, actually, it's going to list um, the complete time information for the file, including month, day, hour, minute, second, and year. So, the only thing that you're going to get in addition to the regular long output is going to be second, the second and the year. The, the file was created, right? So let's hit it off. So as you can see, the only thing that we get in addition is the second and the year uh, when the folder or the file was created. That's that's the only thing you get in, um, in return, right? Let's see if we can use the minus um, the minus O flag, the minus O uh, switch to to display different a different flag right um, actually I think I think that's the only one I got there so the hidden one is the only one I got there but this this is not necessarily only hidden this can be different for the files that download from the internet for example you're not allowed to to Apple will not allow you to run it this is going to be different and you're still going to have this um, this character right here okay Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and um, don't forget to check out our blog watermark at the bottom of the video. Thank you.